Hey fellas, my name is Fred. Welcome to my shop. Today we're going to be discussing and uh, the build of the power feed on my Atlas lathe. This is it. It's uh, currently attached to the lathe. I'm going to take it off, show you how easy it is to take off, and then we'll put her on the bench and take it take it down to its parts. First I'm going to unlock this locking screw, then this one, then this knob down here on the drive wheel, then the whole unit just slides off, just like that. Let's take it over to the, to the bench. Okay, we're back at the bench. You know, I want to start out by saying that this was a prototype. Uh, I built it about five years ago with no plans, and I built it with the parts I had on hand at the time. So we're going to start off by talking about the frame, how to make it up, the power unit, the control box, and the electrical connections, and then we're going to take it back and put it on uh, the lathe, and we'll we'll give it a run. The build started off with the making of this, this piece right here. These two notches index to the end of the, ways, the way bed on um, the atlas. What it does is it registers this piece perpendicularly with the end of the ways. This is a clamp that clamps up against the bottom and makes this rigid on the end of the unit. This one inch block just spaces the motor over a little bit, gives me a little bit more root working room underneath. This piece back here was, a, was a, an afterthought. It houses the power supply, which is from an old printer, and the motor control unit. All right, uh, the drive unit. Drive unit is a windshield wiper motor from an old Mercedes-Benz, I guess. I got it at a flea market. Um, it's connected to this plate uh, so that the end of the lead screw interfaces precisely with the end of this shaft. This is a coupling. It's the male part of the coupling. It's basically... Uh, a cylinder with a flat cut on it. The mating piece of this is is like the back part of this with a hole in it. it slides up. There's a thumb screw. Comes down on here and it makes this piece then one unit. When you want this when you want this unit to run the lead screw, you turn it in. Uh, if you want to do thread cutting operations from the other end, you back this out so that it can freewheel. You never want both ends driving at the same time or have the potential to drive at the same time. Okay, uh, the electric, electrical connections. Give that a, I have a diagram here. Bring in, hopefully get you nice and close. Okay, here's a block diagram of the electrical system for the motor controller. Starts off over here with the power supply taking 120 volts AC in, outputting DC plus and minus. It goes into the input of the motor controller. This potentiometer varies the voltage from line in voltage to zero. It is output here. This is a double pole, double throw, center off toggle switch. Center off meaning it it the control rod can stay vertical and it's not connecting anything. And then you have the left and right position, which basically reverses the polarity of the output, plus and minus or minus and plus. It then comes down through here to a single pull, single throw toggle switch. And here we take advantage of the low winding low speed winding and the high speed winding of the wiper motor. 
Um, you can either select the high speed or the low speed. The voltage and current will come in here, operate the motor appropriately, and the return comes back and goes up to the double pole, double throw switch. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's uh, button all this up, take it over, reassemble it on the lathe, and uh, show you how it works. Okay, fellas, we're back at the lathe. I've got the, uh, the power drive reinstalled on the lathe, and we're going to just give a quick demo of the controls here. And I want you to watch this thumb nut right, for right now to show the relative speed. So we're in the off position, low range. We're going to go right. And you can, you can see the... Uh, <laughs> it's going so slow. We'll turn it up a little bit. There it is right there. It's actually turning the lead screw, okay? Now we can go faster. That's low range. There's high range. And we can slow it down. And it, it can go incredibly slow, slower than you would ever need it. So high, low, left, right, we'll go the other way. You can, you can hear that the uh, motor's not low, dogging down at all. Of course, it's not driving anything but the, uh, the cross slide. Okay, so that's how the controls work. Now I'm going to reposition you in a second here over the cross slide and we'll show you how it runs from that end of the lathe. We're going to give a quick demo here of, of how this works. One thing I want to point out uh, before I start is since we are driving the lathe now from the right end of the lead screw, uh, we need to disconnect uh, the quick change box on the left side or the change gears on the left side of the lathe you don't want any resistance on the left side of the lathe when you're turning it with the power feed vice versa you also want to disconnect the power feed if you if you're turning turning any screw you know turning any threads so we uh will engage engage the drive you can see that the uh, lead screw is turning. What's really nice is how quiet it is. There's no change gear noise. <laughs> um, right now we're going left. We're in the low position. We'll engage the feed. And you can see that the, uh, the wheel is turning. We'll slow it down to just insanely slow speeds. It, it really is still moving. We can turn it up. We can go to high. And we can also stop it and go the other way. And again, slow it down to as much as we want. Turn it off. One of the really nice things about this, this lathe is since it has one lead screw, and that lead screw works both the, uh, the longitudinal and the cross feed, it'll also, the power feed will also work in the, the cross feed position, and we'll, we'll do that. There we go, cross feed in. Slow it down to something reasonable. Low speed. Reposition here just a little bit. So you can see it's pretty versatile. Uh, it worked out so well that my prototype, I really didn't have to do anything to it. To it, it just worked out of the box, which is really fortunate. So that's it. That's that's the build, how it's put together, operation, etc. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope uh, this get you down in the shop to maybe convert your lathe. If you have any issues, any questions, comments, whatever, leave them in the, the field below, and uh, I'll take a look at them and try to get back to you. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment and subscribe if you haven't, and you like this kind of thing, and have a great day.